Hi everybody, Litronics here and today we're gonna be playing Rexar at the Dragonshire. So let's have a look at our team compositions. It's gonna be Rexar, Anubarak, Tyrande, Zeratul and Chromie. Versus Chromie, Gul'dan, Malfurion, Stitches and Johanna. So both teams have two tanks. I feel like we win the tank comp, uh, maybe. Like if Stitches can land his hooks, uh, we are kind of screwed here because we have no way to save our teammates after they are hooked. I mean, Anubarak can dive in and maybe like mitigate some of the input damage, but uh, Chromie and Gul'dan will just like ignore him because they have uh, they have the splash damage, the piercing damage from Felflame from Gul'dan. Like he just doesn't care that Anubarak is shielding anybody who's get getting hooked. But we'll try, we'll try our best. But in a straight up team fight, I feel like that we have the edge uh, because we have the stuns. Uh, because we have so many stuns on our team, so hopefully that's exactly what's going to happen. So Rexar is actually quite underappreciated in my opinion. Like he is one of the better off tanks. His only weakness, uh, his like the only, but it's at the same time a very big weakness, is that he has no escapes. Like it's all about your Misha and harassing with Misha and all of that, but you still need to stay in rage as Rexar. But compared to Misha, Rexar is actually incredibly vulnerable to any any damage, any crowd control, anything. And if you can lock down Rexar, he is pretty much useless for the most part. So I will try to avoid the root. I actually successfully avoided the root there, but uh, not much else can happen, uh, sadly. So I, I'm just going to harass uh, Stitches because that's the only thing I can... Uh, reach here. Uh, wow, I need to go back because uh, Misha is actually really low on health, and I need, I need, I need to, I need her to survive. There's no reason for her to die. Uh, so in one second we'll be able to heal her. Let's do just that. Uh, let's uh, let's go ahead and rush Gul'dan there. Uh, prevent some damage on their tool. Uh, do some good stuff. Yeah, so it was, as I was saying, Rexar is quite vulnerable to any damage and crowd control and all of that. Especially like Kerrigan, Kerrigan just can like easily, easily destroy, that was, that was a little bit stupid of me, but uh, I prevented some damage, m maybe on Zeratul, I, I don't know, that was really stupid, I actually should have gone top from the very, st very start, uh, Rexar is actually a very strong solo laner, but now we are losing mid XP, we lost a bunch of XP in the middle for no reason, and that was kind of my fault, because I tried to do something up top, I don't know, that was that was irrelevant for the most part. So let's go ahead and push this. This is something that you can do as Rexar, and I feel like this is something you should be doing as Rexar. Uh, split your heroes, uh, get some uh, awareness advantage, get some... Uh, make sure that uh, you see everything that's coming your way. Like right there, we were able to scout Chromie uh, after, after our teammates uh, pinged her and everything, but uh, still we were able to see exactly where she was and what she was trying to do. Uh, so that was uh, quite uh, quite helpful indeed. Uh, so if Zeratul actually follows up on this Chromie kill, we can do some uh, huge damage to her, but he got hooked by Stitches. And that wasn't that wasn't the best. So let's, let's grab the healing globe. You can grab globes with Misha, uh, like, without any uh, problems whatsoever. And you can harass people, and you can harass people, which is which is nice, which is nice. You can just send her out and not worry at all about her deaths and everything, because first of all, she's quite tanky, uh, and second of all, if, even if she dies, uh, enemy team doesn't get uh, a huge uh, uh, burst of XP or anything, and uh, you actually get, wow, really nice backdoor by Zeratul, but Tyrande died to uh, a random uh, dragon brass from Chromie, which wasn't quite fine, but that was a really cool backdoor that we just saw from uh, Zeratul there. We w it won't do much. Oh, we can actually kill uh, Stitches here, uh, if, if Chromie follows it up properly. Can we do enough damage? Yep, that's that's enough damage, that's enough damage, and uh, Misha is status, but uh, we can, you can just send her back. Chromie is landing all of those shots, really. Really good job by Chromie, just killing everybody, landing all of those hits, doing so much damage. Uh, Hungry Bear uh, help, will help us with uh, sustain, 
Misha will be able to constantly heal herself. Uh, we won't need to worry about her uh, dying to random causes or anything uh, as much. So that's quite helpful. We are out of mana, so we can't really uh, trade any damage with uh, Kul'dan there because he will easily win that fight. And now Chromie is in a little bit of danger from uh, from the roots. Uh, but, but, it, it's good. We have Misha, we had the stuns, we could have prevented as much damage as we needed to. And uh, Chromie is getting super aggressive. I will send Misha to do some damage to Gul'dan. We will have our, our stun in just a second. Uh, but I just wasted mana on the heal and uh, yeah, that, that wasn't the best. Also, I sent Misha there for some reason. I don't know what happened. Uh, but I, I, can, I can just trade damage with, with, with Stitches there. Because why not? There we go, got a kill on Johanna. Um, Aspect of the Beast uh, will allow us uh, to send out more stuns more consistently. Uh, keep keep the enemy team stunned. Uh, keep her, our team... Uh, help our team as much as possible. And that's kind of the only usage you can get from XR. Uh, is his stuns. Uh, his stuns and uh, the damage mitigation from Misha. And I say damage mitigation is because... You can easily heal up any damage Misha takes with with the passives, with the traits, uh, with your abilities. It, it's quite potent. Like man, pet heals for 1,000, almost 1,000 damage right now. That's a that's a huge amount of healing, uh, considering this is like straight up self healing from a tank, and you can cast it every 10 seconds or whatever. That's that's pretty pretty big in my opinion. Uh, did we get the uh, dragon though? Uh, we do have a lot of people mid, like three people mid, uh, so we should have easily won the uh, temples. Oh my god, can, can she actually kill her? Wow, the time trap, the time trap prevented Tyrande from casting the last of her auto attacks. Man, this is tough, like as Rexar also, his other weakness, and I think it's actually a pretty big one, and I shouldn't have, uh, I should have said it's uh, like right from the start, is that you actually don't have wave clear. Like, until you get uh, Burning Bear, I believe that's how it's called, uh, Wildfire Bear, uh, you have no wave clear uh, whatsoever. Uh, so you, you kind of you kind of need to do your best until then just with your auto attacks and everything. And that, that's not, that's not the best, that's not the best wave clear when you, when you need to auto attack. But uh, Stitch has actually harassed me out of the range of the Dragon Knight and I wasn't able to contest it. If I actually tried to uh, do any form of contesting, I just would have died. I just that was that was stupid of me. I uh, just wasting my charge as Misha. But uh, let's pop our ultimate. This will help us out uh, to do just some additional damage uh, to the dragon. And uh, the next time he charges, I will actually you. Okay, so what you should do is you just you use your stun as Misha, and uh, just prevent the charge altogether. But uh, I, I I I was too slow to do that. I was somehow somehow I was too slow to do that. Oh, that stasis, that stasis from uh, from Chromie actually did quite a bit of... Uh, was really effective, that's what I'm trying to say here. I'm trying to do some damage to her and chase her down, but... Uh, it's tough, it's tough. Uh, it, it's like, Misha doesn't have that much uh, momentum. Okay, but we did pick off Gul'dan, good job team, good job team. Now that they are... I don't know what's starting to say. I, I will try to block as much damage as possible for uh, for Tyrande there, but uh, by doing that, I actually might have uh, might have killed her by body blocking her and all of that stuff. But with our uh, ultimate popped on um, on Misha, she is actually a really really strong. Uh, like your ultimate, your bestial res actually turns Misha into. Almost an assassin, sort of. Uh, like, she lacks uh, the maneuverability, like the f your dedicated assassin uh, would have, but uh, I'm, I'm trying to block the hook uh, from Stitches, so that way uh, he cannot uh, hook uh, Chromie or anybody. Uh, yeah, like that. Okay, so that was kind of successful. That was good. That was good. I, I think that was a, a good, a smart decision of me. Yeah, and that's... <laughs> yeah, <laughs> exactly. Uh, that's always like when I play stitches and there's a Misha on the enemy team. It's like Man, it's annoying because she is going to block 
like all everything all of the skill shots all of the hooks and it's really really damn annoying so I will try to do just that for my team here I will try to block some damage from Chromie uh, can Anu Anubarak actually killed oh no 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 the root the root the root was quite potent. I would use charge to escape his Misha, which is also something that you can do, uh, like if if you really need it. It's definitely better to use your charge as a stun. But uh, if there is no way for you to stun the opponent, like like if if you really need to escape, it's always it's always a good idea to just use your charge and escape. Uh, no reason not to. But we will grab Wildfire Bear, and uh, this is where Misha starts uh, to get some. Uh, some wave clear not a lot uh, but uh, just enough you know okay I will use the charge uh, let me share escape uh, now we need to clear this this guys Whew. okay this is kind of a tough game because like I've been like kind of microing at try like I've been so focused on trying to play a Rexar properly and this is probably one of the other reasons why Rexar isn't as popular as he kind of like should be is because he is very micro intensive it's like almost like playing vikings uh, except you aren't really as effective almost like you are still pretty strong but uh, you can't compare like rexar to something like to what vikings uh, bring to the table i probably should have sacrificed misha there rather than trying to escape as her uh, but uh, that's that's kind of tough that's kind of tough Okay, we will lose this fort probably. We, we don't have our Misha and that's where Rexar is most vulnerable. Uh, like I was saying it at the beginning of the video, when like Rexar himself takes uh, the damage and the crowd control, like there is... It, it's really hard. It's really tough for him because he doesn't have much of the sustain and that's one of the reasons why Hunter Gatherer is one of the better talents right now, in my opinion, uh, is uh, because it can prevent um, like it gives you that fire 600 health and that's that's really important oh my god I missed my body block on Chromie damn it I missed my body block because Misha was actually behind uh, behind stitches there and I wasn't able to block the hook so that was kind of a misplay on my part uh, I was trying to harass stitches and the Chiranda is going to die because they will just flank her like that's that's gonna be tough they could have actually went through here and already killed her but uh, oh yeah she's so dead uh, Chromie actually didn't have to waste her ultimate there but it, it's good she did and now she's down for another 70 seconds so we'll have some some time to maybe maybe do something this game we, we need to get this game back uh, okay, I was for a second afraid there that Anubarak was out of position to do anything. Can we grab the globe? No, we we were a little bit too late on that. Man, this is tough. So I will try to harass uh, Malfurion maybe. Yeah, sadly our assassins. Yeah, this uh, this is this is pretty 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 bad. Our assassins like our Tyrande and. Uh, our Tyrande and Zeratul were dead. Uh, Tyrande not being an assassin, but uh, effectively she is, because uh, she does damage. She is a healer that is kind of focused on damage for the most part. I will use my ultimate, but I don't think much will happen off of it, and Misha will actually die. Yep, like we can't really fight this. We need Chromie to start doing some damage to them, because like she's just nuking the tanks and Malfurion just heals them up easily and we need some significant damage to their backline we need some damage on Gul'dan on Malfurion and it's just not happening and then she just gets hooked and and dies which is oh that's that actually was, was Tyrande oh I'm sorry Chromie that actually was Tyrande who got hooked and died so that's my bad kind of okay I will try to escape the hook but I walked straight into it I will use the stun for the escape Sadly, that's something I need to do. So let, let's go back. Oh, I wasn't I wasn't able to prevent any any significant damage there on my on my team. But Chromie with the Dragon's Breath was just on point and killed me. And they will probably win the game right here. No reason for them not to. 
Man, this is tough. This is tough. Like, we didn't have any sort of momentum for us. Zerithul just kept dying. Gerande, like, everybody has so many deaths for some reason. And that's what I was saying, like, the Stitches. Like, if Stitches was landing his hooks as much as he did, we actually had an edge in this game, and that's where we kind of fell apart. So if you enjoyed the video, consider subscribing, and as always, guys, thank you so much for watching, and see you next time.